morning. Thanks for tuning in to VR Daily. I'm Lydia Leon here with today's top story. Tomorrow marks the third anniversary of the reset and the community is preparing for radical demonstrations as we witnessed over the past two anniversaries. Rituals and ceremonies all over the world were observed as people declared their intentions to mark the anniversary of the day time lapse. Political unrest is on the rise in America. Traditionalists are at odds with futurists over how to best handle the governing of the modern world. Traditionalists continue to be comfortable with rules and regulations just so long as it benefits them. Futurists are adamant that collaboration and innovation are driving forces to move forward and create a progressive society. Carbon emissions continue to decline as global temperatures stabilize. Being unable to drive cars forced the entire population to adapt to alternate means of transportation. The super slide system has created drastic reduction in the world's carbon footprint. In other news, Carolyn Adams, former president turned goat farmer, has released a new line of double cream goat's milk that is flying off the shelves. And people still wonder why she gave up leading a nation in shambles to pursue a dairy career. Fashion update. What you were wearing last night is not in style anymore. That's right, it's already old news. And the song you heard yesterday isn't popular anymore. Try to keep up. Stay tuned for your daily dose of new dance moves as Groove Spacewalker breaks down the latest trend. Well, of course she packed up and left office. There's no office left to run after the reset. It was total anarchy for the first few months. We had laws, but no one thought they applied anymore. Banks shut down, commerce came to a halt. People had to find a new currency and figure out a new system of value. I don't understand why you stepped up to lead a nation in shambles after everyone else turned their backs. Something had to change. I was under strict orders from the former president for a complete lockdown. I had to secure all sensitive information about modern advancements to prevent them from getting into the wrong hands. Then why did you seek out Jules and I when we were starting up Future Corp? Collaboration and future innovation are the foundation over everything we stand for. I mean, how else would we have created the most powerful transportation system the world has ever seen? The super slide system would not be possible if there was a lockdown on data. It's the best transportation the world has ever seen. I mean, short of a portal gun that can zap you into another dimension, which is still a work in progress. The SSS has proven to be the most efficient and awesomest means of short-term transit. And also, when was the last time you saw someone get off the slide without a smile on their face? That's true. The release didn't happen overnight. After I talked to more people across the world, I realized that if everyone shared their research, technology would advance quicker. And we would solve most of our problems if we just worked together. When we finally came together and created Future Corp to become a hub of modern advancements, it was mind-blowing how many nations have united and how many borders dissolved. So much has changed, but there's still so much more to advance. I mean, there's still so many preconceived notions about the fluidity of time and age. Can you believe we're still debating with the traditionalists about reinstating a voting age? As if turning a certain age makes you magically able to rationalize moral decisions that can impact the entire world. Yeah, shouldn't there be some sort of exam or an app for that? Ooh. Collaboration and innovation are driving forces to move forward. But have we considered that bringing back some of the regulations we read about might give people a sense of normalcy and order? What are you trying to say? That we should revert back to the ways things were before the reset? No, that's not what I'm saying. But I'm starting to wonder that if we had a better understanding of what, how society functioned before everyone suddenly turned 15 around the world at the exact same time, then we might be able to figure out a way to give people hope and purpose again. You already have all the data that's held in the archive lab, but I wouldn't say that a bunch of old books, dusty films, and videos of people talking to themselves would count as groundbreaking research. Our innovations came from a place of imagination and ingenuity. Do you really think this would have been possible with all the biases and prejudices in the way? If we did have a better understanding of what aspects of society thrive, or the ability to know more, wouldn't you explore that as much as possible? But what if there are people who might have made mistakes in their past, 
that they aren't proud of. What if they're better off not remembering? Do you really think that it's a good idea to take them back down that path? But there's nothing else to find out. We know everything already. And we're all perfectly happy. Everyone's happy, right? We have to get going. The next stream of VR Daily goes live in 20 minutes, and I have to get prepared to teach Fusion to fourth graders. What exactly are we looking for here? All research and data you can find out about the so-called celebrity Joe Rocket. Look for any clues that support formerly homeless Joe's claims that he remembered everything once he fell asleep during last year's anniversary celebration. Why does it matter what this note job says? I mean, nobody believes him. If there's even the slightest possibility that what he says is true, we need to find out. Don't you realize how important this is for our cause? Yeah, I know how important it is. Finding out what he remembers is crucial. If you don't remember the past, we're doomed to repeat our mistakes. And let's be honest, we've made a lot of mistakes already. That's true, don't get me wrong. I loved sleeping all day and eating ice cream all night, but you can only endure so much brain freeze in one lifetime. Yes, Jamie, because ice cream hangovers were the biggest problem of the past three years ever since we all were reset back to teenagers and only had 24 hours to record our entire adult lives before we forgot it forever. Brain freeze? Then what else are you talking about? I'm talking about wealth and power. What else? We need to rig a system to build wealth and power, and we need to reestablish rules and regulations that we can benefit from. What do you mean by regulations we can benefit from? How are we supposed to know how powerful we are if we don't have banks to check our balances and stocks to invest our money in? So you believe that uncovering the secrets of the past are key to rebuilding the future? Exactly. Why do you think we spend so much time and money on this archive lab? Did you not watch your blueprint report this morning? Didn't you listen to what you told your former self? Those are the most important 24 hours of my entire life. How could I not? It plays on my bathroom mirror every morning. What's Future Corp going to do now? I mean, make a toilet that doubles as a trampoline? Future Corp, what a crock. Well, at least the Futurists are still collaborating with us, even though their belief system doesn't quite go with ours. This archive lab is the most important device we have keeping the world connected to our past. It's the foundation for the next phase of assimilation. What do you mean by assimilation, and what do you mean by next phase? The next phase is a secret plan I've been working on, and Joe Rocket is the secret piece of the puzzle. Now get back to your research and find out everything about Joe's plans, habits, and schedule. We're live on location with Joe Rocket, biggest fashion and pop culture celebrity name. Joe, how do you keep coming up with ways to constantly reinvent yourself? Well, Lydia, it's really easy. Every morning when I wake up, I ask myself one question. If today is the last day I remember being me, how do I want to remember it? And it's a different answer every day. So what was your inspiration this morning, Joe? My inspiration? For that, that outfit? Um, uh, well, it was kind of just... Uh, Anyways, not important. Let's move on. The rumor has it that when you went to sleep during the Future Fab party on last year's anniversary, you woke up with a vivid recollection of your memories before the reset. Has this helped inspire any of your fashion choices during the past year? No. Uh, nothing from my past really inspires me anymore. I, I made a lot of mistakes in the past. So you remember your past, but you're happy to forget it? I wouldn't quit it quite put it like that, but I wouldn't want to relive it again. Can you predict tomorrow's fashions for me? <laughs> you know it doesn't work like that, right? But if it did, you would be the first to know. After me, of course. Well, there you have it. Fashion forward thinking from Joe Rocket. Today's styles are available 24-7 from Drones Express. Back to you in the studio. I knew it. This guy has been telling the truth all along. We have to get access to his abilities. What if his abilities aren't unique to just him? The more research I've been doing, I found dozens of accounts of people who were asleep during last year's anniversary and had vivid memories of their forgotten past. What else did you find out? There were multiple accounts from Spain. When the anniversary occurred at 4.47 p.m. our time, it was after midnight in Spain. So many people were asleep and had memories of their lives as adults. Why are we just finding out about this now? Well, it turns out the Futurists don't want to collaborate on everything. They're afraid that if everyone finds out about this, then they'll want to revert to our old ways. I can't believe this. 
We need to move up our timeline. The next 24 hours are extremely crucial to our plan. We need to go and get Joe and bring him back to the lab. That way we can try to figure out exactly what he remembers during the next anniversary of the reset. He seems pretty happy not knowing. He may take some convincing. We don't have time for that. Are you in this? Are you saying what I think you're saying? Let's go get Joe. All right. Are you telling me that Joe Rocket has actually been telling the truth all along? So what are we going to do about this? We can't have the secret get out that people could remember their former lives. Why not? What's the worst that could happen? People could give up on the idea of living for the future and governing ourselves and creating a system that works for everyone. We could revert right back to the way things were before with poverty, homelessness, global warming, and the threat of nuclear war. We've come too far to take that many steps back. But just because we're learning about our pasts, does that mean we're doomed to make the same mistakes? Wouldn't finding out a little more about the time we forgot help us not make the same mistakes? Is that really a risk you're willing to take? Yes. Yes, it is. What if there was a way to keep Joe and everyone else awake during the time of the anniversary? What are you talking about? Woke pills? Caffeine gas? Not necessarily. What if there was a way that we could electrically charge the Earth's core to send out a jolt to everyone at precisely 4.47 p.m. that is strong enough to wake them? Can you really do that? Not yet, but with a few adjustments to my current design. Don't you think that's a little extreme? Electrifying the Earth's core? Isn't that a little dangerous? What are the possible side effects? It could just be a little extra static electricity, long-term radiation, or it could cause another reset. What do you mean, cause another reset? Have you been testing this technology on other people? No, 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 no. I would never test anything on other people unless I tested it on myself first. I don't think this is such a good idea. There's too much risk. Risk? Think about the reward. If we don't take an active role, in preventing people from remembering their own lives, how are we going to convince them to innovate for the future? Do they have to be mutually exclusive? Not necessarily. I have to get down to the lab! I don't think this is such a good idea. I mean, I know there's no laws against us anymore, but doesn't it just feel wrong? I feel that we could have just asked him to come down to the lab. I mean, he seems like a pretty cool guy. Check out his outfit. I'm not interested in how cool he looks, or how forward-thinking he is, okay? And I sure as hell don't care about his fashion choice du jour. So get the bag, Jamie. I've got the stunner. Are you ready? Not really. Do I have a choice? Of course not. Let's go. Hey, fellas! Happy reset anniversary. Whoa, what the monkey's nose is going on? You want my shades? You can take my shades. How about the jacket? It's a nice jacket. Just take the... Oh, no, 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 no. What did we even need this for again? Never mind the stupid bag. Get his feet. All right. Hey man, do you need anything? Uh, do you need water or something? Water? No, I don't want any water. I want you to get me out of this, w w whatever this thing is. You're good. He's finally awake. Hello, Mr. Rocket. I am Trent Donaldson. Great. What's with the formalities? And why am I in this cell? We need your help. OK, what do you need help with? So, you're willing to help us, but you don't even know why? Look, you guys obviously need my help with something, or else you wouldn't have gone through all this rigmarole. See, we could have just took him down to the lab. That's not the point. We're here now, and we're going to have to record your dreams during the day of the reset. Record my dreams? Yeah, haven't you seen my art report? Same difference, except we're going to put it on VR Live Daily. What the heck are you talking about? I'm sorry, he's been watching way too many Blu-rays from back in the day. We're just trying to get a better understanding of what you remember and prove to everyone who thinks you're a phony that you've been telling the truth. You think I give a rat's hiney about what other people think? If there's one thing I remembered about the dreams from my past, it's that I cared way too much about what people thought and way too little about what made me happy. I'm not really interested in your philosophy on the secret to happiness, okay? I just want to know if everyone's going to remember their past when they go to sleep. I already told you that I did. I remember. It's cool, I'll just write it down or something. Correct, you are my control subject, and my experiment has various compounds. What are you doing? 
get over here. Whoa, 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 whoa. I thought we were taking the ambient route, okay? That's gonna take too long and we wasted too much time already. Now take a seat. I'm gonna have to record your data too. What? I'm just, I'm just an intern here, okay? I didn't sign up for this. I don't even get paid. Not so fast, Trent. You're not forcing these guys to do anything against their will. If they want to remember their lives before the reset, it's up to them to choose. Kidnapping people and forcing them to undergo experiments may not be illegal anymore, but it doesn't make it right. And it's no way for humanity to move forward. Move humanity forward? Is that what your partner was trying to do when he caused the whole reset in the first place? What are you talking about? Don't play coy. Don't act like you all didn't know what this guy triggered with his experiment three years ago. My team couldn't have been the only ones to figure it out. You guys are in control of VR Daily. You're the biggest gatekeeper in the world. You're supposed to be a collaborator, yet you still censor all the information that doesn't quite fit in with your beliefs. Eric, tell me this isn't true. You didn't cause the reset. Of course not. I didn't cause the reset. On purpose. What? All I wanted was a second chance to make better choices. I made so many mistakes in my past, it ruined my, my ability to succeed. No one wanted to hire someone with a track record like mine, no matter how smart I was or how many good ideas I had in the works. So then finally, I discovered a way to bring me back and to get a second chance at life. Eric, everyone makes mistakes. It's how we overcome the obstacles that make us into who we are. What exactly did you do? Well, the details are quite specific, but it had something to do with a proton-neutron solution that sent a zap strong enough to break the age-time continuum. But I didn't mean for it to affect everyone. I just wanted it to affect me. Well, there was a major miscalculation somewhere in your awesome plan, Nimrod. Hey, guys, can I add my two cents? No! no! Hey, let him speak. What's up, Joe? Look, I've had a really rough life. I made a lot of bad decisions and it left me in a tough place. No one knows more than me about how your past mistakes can affect your future. But it's always important to have that right to choose. That's why I reinvent myself every day. Because it's my choice. It should be my choice to go to sleep and remember my past if that's what I want. Well, it's the people's choice now. Let's take it to VR Daily. We deserve the truth. We want to know. We deserve the truth. We want to know. We die. We know. We the truth. Joe, I was so worried about you. What is he doing here? We're all here for the same reason. People deserve the right to know the truth. Let's give them the unaltered, uncensored facts. She's right. We all want what's best for humanity, okay? We may have different ideas of what that means, but overall, we all want the same thing. All right then, let's do this. Get the VR stream on. People aren't gonna just want to hear this, they need to experience this. We wanna know, we deserve the truth. We wanna know, we deserve the truth. Action. Okay, yeah, so I didn't do much in my life and this reset seems weird but I'm supposed to tell myself something, so I'm just gonna say that I have two dollars hiding in the, in the curtain of the shower, if I want to know that sometime, maybe. Um, and yeah, I hope I keep my fabtasculous hair when I go through the reset. Uh, um, and that is about all I have to say, because I didn't do much. Thank you. Yeah. Hey. Rock on. I'm never gonna see my kids again. I'll have to say goodbye to them because I'm gonna forget them. I'm gonna miss them so much. Everything I've worked for, I have to say goodbye to all I hold my plans. Ugh! You probably already know, my younger self, that the reset has happened. But don't forget, you are the Disco Queen. We were the star of the Disco Championship, and we will always be the star. Don't forget that. Disco. Disco. Yes! I mean, fuck!
finally, I can just miss school. I mean, I can hang out with my friends. I can catch a movie all the time. Go to the mall, go to ball games. I mean, I've been waiting for this all four years. I mean, God, every day, just so boring. But now, I can do all this fun stuff. Go to the stores, go to the mall, the movies, ball games. And I, I don't know, I'm just so excited that I can't even think of all the possibilities now that I'm in school. Oh man, this is so exciting and oh, I can party every day with all my friends and we can stay up late, we can eat pizza, have popcorn, soda, all the time, no parents telling us what to do, just oh yes, finally, whew. So here's what happened, I woke up this morning, I was living a good life, I was 15 years old, I was confused about it. And they said to make a video to show myself this, but I'm still a little scared to be completely honest, but I'm making the video anyway because I don't know what to do about it. But I'm gonna tell you what to do, just try to remember your things if you can, but if you can't, I don't know what to do. I'm sorry, this, it's a scary situation, it really is. I'm gonna forget everything. I don't know what to do about it. We're gonna be kids again. And that's, the kids can't run a country or run a business. Business is my life. I, I can't be a kid running my business. I'm gonna go under, I'm gonna be broke. Oh my God, I'm gonna be broke. I don't know what to do, just try to fix everything. Ooh, okay, um, so here, here goes. This isn't real. All of this is not real. Don't trust them, okay? I had a great life and all of that's gonna happen is I'm gonna forget everything, every single thing in my life. I, have, I had a great life. I have good air, I have good, good genetics, good good outfit. I mean, everything in my life is great. It's great, but you can't forget it. Don't forget it. Don't trust anyone, no one, okay? I'm trusting you, that's it.
8.2, see you, Jamie, take two. Action. What are you doing? Get over here. Whoa! whoa, whoa. I thought we were taking Abby and I was like, oh, 